My name's Gemma and I'm an illustrator. I sort of feel like I fell into it a bit, but it's become something that's obvious that I'm best at. So I started off doing archaeology at uni. I didn't really fancy the digging, so I started doing more of the illustration. So I started off doing technical drawing, which is really interesting. And then I got a job being an archaeological illustrator, which is technical drawing, basically. The whole industry is kind of slowing down as development slows down. And as that's happened, I've found different things I want to do and then decided to go freelance, which was part of the company I was working for at the time being broken up. So I went freelance, as did a lot of other people. It just became obvious being freelance and being able to do what I wanted with my spare time and having a bit more spare time to experiment that um, I enjoyed doing illustration more, something more graphic, something more creative hand-drawn illustrations, I started doing invitations and making things, all of that stuff kind of combined so that now I feel like I'm moving from this very academic subject to a much more creative role. Quoting, which is very difficult. You always have one person that you're talking to and agree with them exactly what you're doing before you even start. And then if that's going to incur further costs, then you have that already set out. I'm working with other freelancers who I've met and we're all doing as much social networking as possible. So we're all on Twitter and Facebook and we kind of jolly each other along. So we're all kind of in the same boat. And I think those other networking things are a bit scary because you have to stand up and say a lot about what you do. You're trying to pitch something, you're trying to sell something. And I think a lot of, um, a lot of artists and creative people find that very difficult. I find that very difficult. I think a more formal way of expanding the network is quite good. I don't want to be pitching. I want to tell people what's out there and then the work speaks for itself.